right, so every morning Mike Apple sends an email for what he's going to be talking about, and this this is word for word from Mike Apple. And here we are, jazz hands. Jazz hands. Explain That's yourself. <laughs> this. Just the celebration in some corners uh, about the legalization of cannabis, and you know what? This has been so much hype. Now, it actually has to uh, sort of live up to expectations from an investor standpoint, Melanie, because we've seen these stocks on Bay Street go up. You know, 3,000% um, is certainly in the realm of the normal for some of these companies, which up until about three years ago weren't even on the radar until the uh, Trudeau government was elected. Uh, since that point in time, we've seen shares of Canopy Growth jump by well over 3,000 percent on the stock market. It's now worth over 17 billion dollars and now these companies actually have to live up to the hype about selling legal product, whether it is the uh, smoked uh, cannabis or uh, through medicinal uh, products, uh, you know, things like uh, oils and uh, just edibles and what have you as that again is coming into the market over the next several months. Another sector that is sort of celebrating all of this, quietly I suppose, would be the legal profession because there are so many facets of law that are now on the radar, whether it is uh, about uh, corporate law, uh, cross-border law, when you're talking about jurisdictions which are still not legalized for cannabis sales, uh, also uh, patent law. So the uh, legal profession might see quite a bit of business opportunities from this. Roger, on the markets this morning, we're watching uh, stock futures pull back after what was a very big day yesterday on both Bay and Wall Streets. One stock uh, in the spotlight this morning. Better call Saul about this is Netflix. It's up by 12% because they had almost 7 million new subscribers, and that was 2 million more than forecast. Certainly not a house of cards. <laughs> but I'm done. There yeah, a lot go. of pressure on the uh, cannabis companies, isn't there? They, I mean, they've, yeah. been, they've been growing right. hand over fist, but now they've got to actually show yeah. up. And, and, and you know what? In the past, when, we, when companies do not have enough product to sell, that's actually a negative because they can't make so much money from it. Mm -hmm. So we're, that's going to be something to see if they can actually meet the supply demand. and demand and or if in other jurisdictions, the black market still continues. All right, Mike. Thank you. Thank you very welcome. much, sir.